always fades out. Um, because there are places that you're not actually getting to. Probably this tunnel. 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 When you tap, you have to tap over on this side and then over on this side to balance it this out. Don't tap have all the way down one side. Tap one side, then the other side. Then one side, then the other side. No, not up and down. Most people would think that the reason why I chose to work at the Blina Stinson School Ceramic Program is because I love to help the cute little children out. This is not the case at all. And it's also not because I love the magic of turning some mud into stone. And it's not the fact that I've been working with clay my whole life. The real reason I chose to work at my internship is I want to take over the world. <laughs> I've developed an army, an army of clay monsters. And these vicious creatures shall take over the world one day. <laughs> As I walk through the valley of the shadow of death I take a look at my life and realize there's nothing left Cause I've been blasting and laughing so long that Even my mama thinks that my mind is gone But I ain't never crossed a man that didn't deserve it Me be treated like a punk, you know that's unheard of You better watch how you're talking and where you're walking Or you and your homies might be lying in chalk I really hate the trip, but I gotta lope as they croak, I see myself in the pistol smoke, fool I'm the kind of G the little homies wanna be like On my knees in the night, saying prayers in the street light Situation they got me facing. I can't live a normal life. I was raised by the state, so I gotta be down with the hood team. Too much television watching got me chasing dreams. I'm an educated fool with money on my mind. Got my tin in my hand and a gleam in my eye. I'm a loped out gangster, set tripping banker. And my homies is down, so don't arouse my anger. Fool, death ain't nothing but a heartbeat away. I'm living life do a die. What can I say? I'm 23 now, but will I live to see 24 the way things are going? I don't know. After minute, hour after hour, everybody's running, but half of them ain't looking. It's going on in the kitchen, but I don't know what's cooking. They say I got to learn, but nobody's here to teach me. If they can't understand it, how can they reach me? I guess they can't, I guess they won't, I guess they front. That's why I know my life is out of luck, fool. Bustamante and I work at the Blaine Stinson School and I'm working with Ryan in his internship. The way that I became interested in ceramics was a, uh, in, through a friend of mine whom I met many, many years ago uh, and in my travels uh, wound up with me in Bolinas uh, and she was studying ceramics at the time and it was something that I was very, very interested in learning about. So I began working with her in a studio in Stinson Beach. I was able to follow my interest and what became an interest became a profession. Uh, as I worked at Full Circle, um, I became more and more adept 
liked it what I was doing and enjoyed it intensely. The, the time that I spent at Full Circle was quite extraordinary simply because the children there, because of their lives, uh, were really interested in creating fairly phenomenal pieces of work. And so we worked in large scale, they, they threw a lot on the wheel, but mostly they created very dynamic uh, manifestations of powerful beings, uh, superpower creatures, uh, a lot of dragons, a lot of really intensely sort of mythical or archetypal pieces that were um, were really fascinating uh, as part of spending time with these kids to, to watch come out of them and to help come out of them. And uh, that allowed me to, to then take on the job teaching at the Bunny School, which I have been doing for the last 22 or 3 years. The best aspect of my job is that I get to spend time with children who are discovering how marvelous this substance is. Uh, and s s triggering their imaginations or helping them to trigger their imaginations and make their ideas come out through their hands and watching them grow uh, to the point where they have a facility and can work on their own. I like it because it has infinite possibilities. There are so many different ways you can go in ceramics and every time I think I'm going in one direction, I get tweaked into adding other directions on or other investigations uh, and there's, there doesn't seem to be any end to it and I think that's what's quite marvelous about it. My job description is running the ceramics program as part of the overall art program at the Galena School, which is quite a phenomenal art program in an elementary school. It has a wood shop, uh, a visual art shop, a jewelry shop or a metal shop and the clay shop program. Uh, it's been in existence for mm, probably 30 years and was born out of grassroots interest in having an art program at this school uh, by some very uh, forward-thinking uh, artists and craftspeople who lived in this town some 30 years ago, some of whom are still around to teach and be involved in this program. Well, I uh, I was from Hawaii, and in the schools in Hawaii, you know, um, there was no art programs at all. We had a piece of paper and a pencil, and we just drew. That was the whole art session. And I came here and was like, wow. So you're making a sugar bowl? Like that, well, like those cream pour things. Yeah. No, it's like a little teeny teapot, really small. And you put little milk in it, little milk in it, and more like tea and stuff. <laughs> yeah, Isaiah here's one of the best wheel throwers around. I have the best wheel thrower that's come down this pipe ever in this shop.